The state government has issued a stern warning to residents advising against the vandalization of public health facilities and other developmental projects situated in different communities across the state. Executive Secretary of Kwaibom State Primary Health Care Services, Mrs. Enwata, gave the warning during a three-day COVID-19 response mechanism training workshop and inauguration of the state advocacy team in Uyo, the state capital. Mrs. Atta emphasized that the implementation of a resilient and sustainable system for health and COVID-19 response mechanisms will tackle the infrastructural gaps within the health systems, thereby enhancing efficiency and effective health service delivery. Well, the Monitoring and Evaluation Manager Network of People Living with HIV and AIDS in Nigeria, Mrs. Nkechi Ubud, described community-led monitoring as an effective tool to ensure accountability for project implementation, while the National Programme Officer of NUFAN in Abuja, Mr. Jerry Antai, highlighted the benefits derived from pro protecting critical infrastructure. The aim of the, of the workshop is to train people that will work as state advocacy team. When I say state advocacy team, I mean all the key players in the state that will come together and form one combined force to do an advocacy that will yield results. Through Women Affairs, we are looking at the CBO, that is the community based organization that we work in different organizations. We are also looking at the police. We are looking at all the people that, when we meet them, we know they have an important role to play to help us achieve the community mandates for the mandates of the project. What the state advocacy team will do is they are saddled with responsibilities to, uh, to address issues that were not able to be, uh, that were escalated from the community level and community level. Issues that will not be able to, to resolve at those levels that were escalated down to the state level. So what they will do is they prioritize those issues, itemize them, prioritize those issues, identify or map out key stakeholders who can address those issues and pay court call or advocacy, pay, conduct advocacy to them. Well, some of the participants, including representative of the Council for Islamic Affairs, Alaji Ahmed Isa, and program manager, State Malaria Elimination Program, Dr. John Ubud, described the training as worthwhile as it provided them with basic knowledge about interventions and implementations of AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria programs. It is very, very interesting. Uh, this is the one. We have so much to learn already. And part of it is the, that community based organization which they are advocate, advocating for. Meaning that uh, people in the community should take responsibility for what they have at the end of the day. Uh, the workshop is timely and um, the present situation we have globally and um, in country requires that communities and um, individuals take a lead in those things that concern them, whether it's health, whether it's education, whether it's development of infrastructure. High points of the workshop was the inauguration of the Akwaibom State Advocacy Team headed by the new fan coordinator, Mrs. Elizabeth Udo, while other members joined from the Tuberculosis Network, among others.